Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Maker's Workbench. In today's video Charles is going to show you how to control some lights and outlets in your home using the Amazon Alexa in conjunction with the Link Note R4 development board from Lynx Bright. So sit back and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Amazon Alexa for that awesome intro. If she keeps that up, I may be replaced here at the workbench. But in all seriousness, let's get started with today's episode. Today I'm taking a look at the Linknode R4 ESP8266 based 4 channel relay board from a company called Linksprite. The Linknode R4 features four 240 volt slash 120 volt 10 amp relays that activate from a 5 volt coil. The board features an ESP8266 which boasts onboard Wi-Fi and a fully functional microcontroller that is set up from the factory to be compatible with the Arduino IDE. The board retails for about $10 from Amazon and you can find a link to it in the description below. The Linknode R4 comes configured from the factory with code that allows it to connect to the Linksprite cloud service which then allows the end user to control each relay with their smartphone or tablet. The Linknode app is available on the Apple App Store or for Android via an APK download from Linksprite. A link to both of those apps can be found in the description below. I originally planned on reviewing this board using its stock firmware, but unfortunately I managed to delete that code and was forced to roll my own code that was able to turn on and off each of the four relays. More on that in the written article that accompanies this video, but for now, let's move on. Simple on and off control via code is quite boring, so I decided to step things up and use Amazon's Alexa Digital Assistant to remotely control each relay via custom voice commands. So let's take a quick look at the code that makes that possible and then move on to a demo of the Linknode R4 and Alexa working their magic to turn on some lights and wall outlets. The code is semi-complicated, so I will not cover all of it in this video, but if you would like to see a full video that covers that code, leave a comment below. I will, however, briefly go over the Arduino sketch that ties everything together to make the magic happen. If you would like to download the full code package, head over to the written article that accompanies this video. A link to that can be found in the description below. So let's take a quick look at the code. Um, as you can see here in Arduino, we have six files open. Um, the first one is the actual sketch that we're going to talk about. The other five are part of the Wemo Belkin Wemo. Uh, emulator that's called FOMO. So these don't really change much and I can talk more about those later if you would like but for this video and this article I'm not going to worry about it too much. If you want to take a look at it you can head over to the written article or the description below. There's a link to my GitHub with a download that includes all these files. So let's go ahead and look at the code. So here at the beginning, just like everything else, you can see that we're uh, including all of the different libraries. And you'll notice that a lot of these are part of these five files here, like switch.h, upnpbroadcaster.h, and callbackfunction.h. Um, so moving down, basically um, one of the first things I have to declare is uh, these callbacks. And basically they're kind of just a name that will be used to... Uh, uh, handle the on and off functionality of the four switches that we create. So moving on down you can see that I have the uh, SSID and a password. Obviously these aren't mine but you get the idea. You have to put in your SSID for your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi password for the ESP8266 to connect to your network. Moving on down um, I have to declare a couple things, um, a couple switches. So switch light 1, light 2, outlet 1, outlet 2, blah blah blah. And then I have to set um, some relay pins. So integer relay pin 1 equals pin 12 on the SB. Um, relay 2 equals pin 13. Relay 3 equals 14. And relay 4 equals 16. Um, moving on down, you can see it sets up the serial at 115,200 baud. Um, and then in the setup, we also add the... Uh, Invocation names for Alexa. These are the names that Alexa recognizes when you ask it to do something. So I have Light 1, Light 2, Outlet 1, Outlet 2. Um, I'm not sure if the syntax of the way these are written is important, but this is the way I've always seen it done, so this is the way I'm doing it. Um, so you'll see that uh, 
light one equals uh, a new switch, which is light one. And this is what Alexa reads right here. Light one, light two, outlet one, outlet two. Then we have to set a port for each one of these devices to use. So port 80 off the uh, web server, off the ESP8266 web server, then port 81, 82, and 83 for this uh, subsequent things. You also have to set um, the on callback and the off callback. So for like light one, the callback is light one on, and the callback for off is light one off. Um, and it works the same for all the others. Um, we also have to add a UPnP broadcast um, switch responder. So that's light one, light two, outlet one, outlet two. And then I have to set up the relay pins to output. So pin mode, pin 12 equals output, pin mode, pin 13 equals output, so on and so forth. Um, one other thing we have to do is create a server loop in the void loop, um, in the main loop there. So light one is server loop. Um, and there is, I'm sure it's in here, I've just missed it, there's a server loop function that will run there. Um, and then we can come down and check out the separate functions that turn everything on and off. So the light one on function, um, it's serial print switch one turn on, I haven't really changed those because I just use it for debugging. Um, and then when uh, light one on is called by Alexa, it runs this function that says digital write relay one hi. So that turns it on. We want to turn it off. Another function uh, runs digital write relay one low. And that works for all of the lights and all of the sockets. Um, we'll go down and just look a little more. So here's the, uh, here's the loop to uh, control the Wi-Fi stuff. And then um, just some debugging stuff that lets you know if you're connected or not connected to the uh, internet with the ESP8266 via the serial monitor. So that's basically the code. It's only about 165-ish lines. Maybe if you take out all the white spaces, it's probably closer to 150. Um, it's not very complicated. And if you want to add more uh, devices, you simply need to go to outlet, you know, add another void here and then add in, you know, each one of these steps will get another another device. When you're all done with that, you just simply ask your uh, Amazon Alexa device to, to discover devices um, after you've uploaded the code, obviously. And then it should discover everything, and then you're good to go. So now that we've learned everything there is to know about the LinkNode R4, let's move on, and I'm going to show you a semi-practical purpose for it. Um, I built this little demonstration board and as you can see it has two light sockets and two uh, electrical outlets. They're running on 120 volts AC just coming out of my mains power and you can't really see it but the link node is powered by a 5 volt 5 amp power adapter. It doesn't need 5 amps but that's what I had laying around. Okay so let's get started with the demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger my Echo Dot and ask it uh, several different uh, questions and it will then turn on various lights or outlets there on the board. So we'll start with uh, light one and then progress to light two and then the two outlets. So just really quick, the two outlets, one is connected to my uh, little rotating turntable that has the pin holder on top and the other outlet is connected to the uh, green fan you can see with the red streamers. Echo, turn on light one. Okay. Echo, turn on light two. Okay. Echo, turn on outlet one. Okay. Echo, turn on outlet two. Echo, turn off all devices. Okay. Echo, turn on all devices. Okay. Echo, turn off all devices. Okay. Echo, turn on bedroom devices. Okay. Echo, turn off bedroom devices.
Echo, turn on office devices. Okay. Echo, turn off office devices. Okay. Echo, turn on all lights. Okay. Echo, turn off all lights. Echo, turn on all outlets. Okay. Echo, turn off all outlets. Okay. And that's going to kind of be it. Um, so the grouping there is all done in the Alexa app. That's not done in my code. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. If you guys want a tutorial on how to build... Uh, smart home device groups in Alexa or any Alexa tutorials in general, just uh, you know, leave me a comment below because I love this new little toy I bought and it's it's one of the funnest things I've ever owned. Um, so that's going to wrap up this video and I will see you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to click that like button and leave a comment below. And don't forget to hack the world and make awesome. Goodbye, everyone.